100 rated chess. But the woman is too sexy. You must move a piece. Or pawn. Closer to the enemy queen every two moves. Well I guess let us also say. That I cannot take my opponent's queen. Way too easy. We get a 100 rated guy from India. E4. E5. My pawn from E7 to E5 is definitely going closer to my opponent's queen. And to be honest. I'm sure I can even do this thing every single move. Not every two moves. Bishop B5. Aha. The utmost famous Portuguese opening. Knight F6. Queen to G4. I can already see, that the crazy moves are coming in real fast. That blunders a woman, but unfortunately I cannot take the woman because then there wouldn't be any queens for the challenge to be active. His queen is completely invincible. C6 instead. Well maybe now he will finally notice that his queen is being attacked and then save the queen which leaves the bishop hanging. Or he can blunder both of them. I didn't even know that was an option. But now the real question is. Do I take his bishop? If I take his bishop now, it is actually a move that makes my pawn further away from his queen. Which means I will be forced to make a move that goes closer to his queen. Which means if I cannot do such a thing, the video ends. Well I guess as always, I'm not a coward. Well I mean what can go wrong anyway, the only thing that I can see is queen takes d7 check forcing me to take his queen. But if he really wants to do such an unimaginable thing, going closer or further now just literally doesn't matter at all. And at the end of the day, who plays like that anyway? Right? Absolutely. And you know what? I think I will actually sacrifice my e-pawn. I want to give his queen as many squares to move as possible, and then I will also have more chances to attack her. And every time I attack her, she will make a retreating move, and the further she retreats, the closer I can approach his territory. Queen takes e5 check. Bishop e7. Now take my b-pawn as well. Or he can blunder a knight on the exact same square that he has just removed his queen from. Of course I'm not complaining. As long as the move is coming closer to his queen, there is no need for a second thought. Queen takes g5. Rook h5. Okay I'm not gonna lie. This is actually a blunder from me, in case you don't know, I do blunder pawn sometimes, absolutely relatable. And my opponent actually turned it into a rook blunder instead. Now I'm genuinely scared. Knight c6. Queen h8 check. Bishop blocks. Okay maybe just keep your queen there for the rest of the game. Or blunder her again on the exact same square. It is time that I need to use my own queen. This is actually moving my queen further away from his queen. Which means I am forced to go closer to her next move. But to be honest. Besides queen f7. I don't see anything else preventing me from doing that. Queen f3. Knight d4. Queen f5. Still blundering the queen, like the 67 time or something. But knight takes c2 instead. This is also moving further away from his queen, but since it is a check, nothing can go wrong. King e2. Ha! I can go back with a check. King d1. Queen c6. Queen f4. Aha! That blunders a checkmate in two. Queen c2 check. King e1 is forced. Now queen takes c1 is a back rank checkmate in one. But unfortunately queen from c6 to c2 is actually maintaining the same distance between my queen and his queen. And as the challenge suggested, 
I can only come closer to his queen. Not the same distance to his queen. Therefore now I have to make a move closer to his woman. Bishop to d6 instead. He can take my bishop, or push a pawn to fork my pieces. Anything works. Or he can also pushes another pawn on the side that has absolutely nothing to do with the game. And it isn't even a pass pawn. Very convenient, queen takes c1. Checkmate. Mission accomplished, it's reading comment time. Eric Rosen would destroy simp, careful what you wish for. Wow. While like 99% of the chess world would like a chance to play just a single game against Magnus Carlsen, this guy is part of the 1% who will actually refuses the offer just because he is so scared that the guy would destroy him on the chess board. Have you tried Wuthering Waves? Also do you intend to give us a showcase of your Genshin account? Yes? And I already quit Genshin, but why not? Not sure if you're aware, but when you fail a challenge your final word is often cut short by the edit to the outro. What's the word? I think it begins with an F. It's the word 